Welcome to this part of Simulcode Pro tutorial. This time I will show how to convert parameter files of Simulcode DP to Simulcode Pro system. For that, I will use the Win Simulcode DP converter tool, which is part of the Simulcode ES 2007 installation. At the end of the video, I will give some hints how you can upload the parameterization from a Simulcode DP device. For this demonstration, I will use an installation of Simulcode ES 2007 Service Pack 9 Hotfix 3, which is the latest version at the moment. Please check by yourself if there meanwhile is a newer version for download available at the Siemens Industry Online Support. Don't worry about the license key. For the conversion, no license key is required. When Simulcode ES 2007 was installed, you will find WinSimulcode DP Converter via your Windows Start menu, or you easily type in Converter. At the Converter dialog, you can select the source file, that's the SMC file which contains the parameterization. You can save the target file at the same path or at a different one, and you can activate the 3 or 5 compatibility mode for the Simulcode Pro V device. You will get a note how the compatibility mode will get used at the Simulcode Pro V basic unit. As next step, we can continue with the conversion. If output number 4 is used at Simulcode DP, you will get a message that there is no one by one match possible for the Simulcode Pro system. The output signal will get reassigned to a relay output of a digital module for Simulcode Pro V. With the next step, you will get informed if a Simulcode Pro C basic unit is sufficient for your chosen parameterization. With Simulcode ES 2007 Service Pack 9 Hotfix 3, you cannot trust this message. At my sample parameterization, I have used output 4 of the Simulcode DP basic unit and additional outputs at the 3UF5 expansion module. Further, the 3UF5 compatibility mode was selected at the beginning of the conversion, so Simulcode Pro C basic unit is no option for that requirement. Let's see if Siemens brings another hotfix to fix that. At the next and final dialog, you will get a summary of the conversion. The converter shows the list of required Simulcode Pro components, a general note that you have to perform, a commissioning test with a Simulcode Pro system, and messages with relation to the log file. So let's have a look into the log file. Here you can find every step performed by the converter. Here for example the assignment of the output relays of basic unit outputs 1, 2 and 3. This was converted to the Simulcode Pro basic unit. The expansion module outputs were converted to one digital module and the basic unit output 4 was converted to another output of a second digital module. At the top of the log file you will find an area for warnings. There it's also mentioned that the basic unit output was converted to an output of a digital module. When you convert a direct starter application from Simulcode TP to Simulcode Pro, you will get some messages in relation with parameters for the reversing starter. At Simulcode DP, the reversing starter parameters were assigned but not used. At the Simulcode Pro system, there are no longer the reversing starter parameters for the direct starter available. At the target file location, you will also find the log file the converted SDP file and the original SMC file. Optional, 
and migration of the STP file of SimulCodeDS 2007, so SimulCodeDS TIA portal is also possible. But how to get the parameterization out of an old single code DP device if you do not have an offline backup file? At the Siemens Industry Online Support, the old Win Simo Code DP professional version is still available for download. And with the serial number you can find here, you can use the program without any pop up message about license number. For Windows 10 users, you will also find hints how you can run the setup in the compatibility mode. The direct links to these entries of the Siemens Industry Online Support you will find at the video description below. At this FAQ, you will find the pin assignment of the serial PC cable which you need for an upload of the parameterization. You can make a self-made cable with this information. Additional, I have found this FAQ, which also handles the topic of conversion from SimulCode DP to SimulCode Pro. Now you should have the required knowledge how to convert the parameter files. I hope this video was helpful for you, and please give me a like and subscription to my channel. Many thanks for watching and see you next time.